Today, I am beyond excited to introduce you to the incredible AI video generation tool, Pika Labs. You know, there are quite a few AI video tools out there like Kyber, Xeroscope, Runway ML, and others, but Pika Labs has some serious advantages over the competition. It allows you to create high quality video scenes in different styles as you are seeing on your screen. Some of the other AI tools are restricted to only creating videos in a certain style. Another advantage of Pika Labs is that it's completely free. Yes, you heard that right. You can create unlimited videos without spending a dime. Let's learn how to access Pika Labs. To do so, just head over to the Pika Labs website and click on the Join button, which will direct you to the next page. On this page, you can apply for early access by providing your personal details. Once your access request is approved, you'll receive an email containing all the instructions on how to use Pika Labs. Please note that the approval process about a week. Once you have gained access, head over to Discord and open Pika Labs. There, you will find the Getting Started section. To generate videos from text, navigate to the Generate One or any other Generate channel. Before proceeding, let's take a brief look at the prompt options available. The first option allows you to provide guidance scale. A higher number will result in an output that closely aligns with the prompt. The second option involves incorporating a negative prompt. Utilize this if there are specific elements you wish to avoid in your videos. Next, the third option pertains to selecting the aspect ratio for your videos. Additionally, there's the seating option, which enhances consistency. The last option allows you to control motion by assigning a particular value ranging between 0 to 2. Let's begin by creating and generating a video. There are two options to create a video in Pika Labs text to video and image to video. Let's first explore text to video. We give a prompt to create a video featuring a chicken surfing an ocean, maintaining an aspect ratio of 16 by nine and setting the motion value to two. Here is the outcome we achieved, and the video quality is exceptionally good. While the frames per second may seem slightly lower, the overall video quality remains impressive. Now, let's explore the process of generating a video using an image which typically requires fewer iterations to achieve the desired outcome. We proceed to the prompt section, where we enter a command for generating a video of a Ferrari accelerating, and also provide an image of a red Ferrari. Next, we'll insert the image that I created in Leonardo. After completing these steps, we can submit the command to generate the video. Here's the achieved result. And as you can observe, the video quality is excellent, even though it was generated in the first iteration. The background also appears to be of good quality, if not perfect. I hope you find this video helpful. Please stay tuned for the updates.